Hey, this is P Rizzle. <laughs> and this is H Zizzle. And we're from Rondequit High School. Oh, wait, this way. Yeah, we're from Rondequit High School. We're conducting an experiment based off G Force. So basically. <laughs> and the force normal. Yes, yeah. normal too. So basically, I weigh 125. But hopefully, our hypothesis, if we are correct, if we are going like up, then. Then you should weigh more. Yeah. And if yeah. you're going down, you should weigh less. So let's test this out. All right. Let's explore what a scale reads in a moving elevator. How do we do that? I'd start by making a free body diagram, which shows all of the forces acting on an object. In this case, the force pulling the person down onto the scale is gravity, which we write as mg. So mg, as in mass times acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.81 meters per second squared. <laughs> That's right, Paige. We write an object's weight as mg. Now we also have the force of the scale pushing up on the person, which we write as Fn for force normal. So the normal force, that's the force acting perpendicular to the surface. Now we can apply Newton's second law to the y direction of our problem and say that the net force in the y direction is equal to the mass of our person times their acceleration in the y direction. Of course, we're assuming that we're calling up positive, right? Right. So, I can replace F net Y, which is just the sum of all the forces in the Y direction, with the normal force Fn minus the weight Mg. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> now I can easily solve for the normal force Fn, which is actually the force of, on the scale, and is equal to what the scale reads. This means that the reading on the scale is going to be equal to your weight, Mg plus your mass times any acceleration you're undergoing. So, if I'm on an elevator and I'm accelerating, the scale will read something different than my normal weight? You've got it! Let's take a look at an ideal case. Hi everyone, I'm Frank. As I stand here on the motionless elevator, the scale reads my normal weight, 500 newtons. As the elevator accelerates upwards, the scale reads more than my weight because my acceleration, Ay, is positive. As the elevator slows, the scale reads less than my standard weight until I come to a stop. This also works in reverse. For example, if I'm in an elevator on a higher floor at rest, the scale reads my weight. As I accelerate downward, the scale briefly reads less than my weight because my acceleration is negative. As the elevator slows, I have a positive acceleration, so the scale reads more than my standard weight until I stop accelerating. Let's see if it really works. Here, I weigh 125 pounds. Now, as I accelerate upward, the scale reading increases. And here we go. Her weight shot up. Going up. 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 And as I slow down, it decreases. Let's try it again. Going up. Stopping. Now, going down. let's try down. As I accelerate down, the scale reading decreases. Then as I come up to, to a stop, it increases. Let's try it again. Did it change? Yeah, a lot. So, it really works. Yup. The key to solving these problems is remembering that the scale reading is the normal force. And using Newton's second law! From all of us here, Thanks for watching. <laughs>